Okay, we've arrived on site, we're here now. So Waz, have a quick look at the boiler. Um, just tell me it's something what you notice. Look in the front. Uh, pressure gauge, it's on zero. Yep, okay, so pressure's down. So we'll be checking that expansion vessel on that. So okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna isolate the appliance. There's a plug socket there. It's just a plug, isn't it? Looks like it. That's it, good. Okay, on the checklist, what did it say about? Um, the fuse inside the plug should yep, be Yep, that's out. it. So we'll be checking that. Yeah, we're going to have a check of that. Okay. So, all right, so let's see what you've got there. Yeah, you've got a 3 amp. That's it. That's all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah 3 amp fuse. Brilliant. So, as your checklist, um, what do you think about having this checklist? That's really good. It, it, it's sort of just in case you know you you make sure you can't miss you can't miss anything. Um, Keeps you disciplined. Yeah. Yep. That's definitely that's it. So you're just doing some familiarising with on the pipes, are you? Yep. So what we've got there, then? Okay, so we've got. PRV, which mm -hmm. goes to the outside. We've got that's the return. Yes, that's the return. That's the gas. That's the cold water in, and that's the hot out. Okay, good. On the case removal on these CDIs. What you've got, you've got a clip at the top here that lifts up like that. Okay. Yeah. And then on the bottom, you've got two screws there. And there. So that's on the CDI models. They're different to the I. The I series are different, they're the ones what we've done before in the classroom. So you've got to do your screws first. Just back them off, just loosen them. These ones here, isn't it? Yep. This Okay, so there's pressure's down anyway. So what we're going to do, go we'll and get the foot pump, put it here, and check the pressure. Right, okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. So, where are we located at the moment, where the boiler is? Uh, first floor. Okay. So we're going to um, drain the boiler. Mm hmm? Yep. Because we can do the expansion vessel, aren't we? Yep. So, are we going to close the isolation valves? Yes or no? Well, we don't know if there's an upstairs, so we should do, but there's no pipes going up. The only up, the flow pipe is going down. Okay, so, so that, what does that tell us then? Most probably there isn't an upstairs. Well, okay. There aren't any radiators upstairs. That's it. Okay, so that means what for us? Um, so the boiler is at its highest point. Okay. Higher than the radiators, so yep. we don't really need to. Good. Excellent. That's it. So that's your type of checking out the system and um, analysing what's going on. So how's that decision made you feel? Um, again, in the classroom it was bang, bang, bang. But right now I had to think about it because, um, because is there an upstairs? We don't know. It's not in the house. It's a unit, mm. a commercial unit. So there could be, but then when you look at the pipework, there's nothing going upstairs apart from a gas pipe which is coming down. 
So technically, there shouldn't be any radiators. Okay, well, off. yeah, that's right. Okay, you've, I think you've done a good call. Though you're nervous, I think <laughs> you're doing good. Not bad for a second boiler. Yeah, so that's good. Part of your journey, part of your learning. Right, so we're going to carry on repressurizing the expansion vessel. So we'll start doing You said you've got some sort of observation you were saying. What was you saying? So, as I was pre planning to uh, drain the boiler, I was looking for the drain point. But as I'm leaning down, I couldn't see it until I got underneath the boiler and looked right at the back of it. That's where I found the PRV. Okay. Now, you're making a mistake yeah. because what's this boiler? What, what's the make and model of this uh, boiler? What's the 30? It's a 37 CDI. 37 CDI. Right, so it's a green star. Now, what by the water in the classroom? What was it working 28 on? 28 I Junior. Green star? Yes. So, where was the drain point on that? Behind the case, behind the panel. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, that was your mistake? Yes, I didn't. Yep, yep. Well, I looked, I didn't look further enough. Yeah, and I forgot. Okay, good. So, the green stars in the same place. Yes. Okay, good. Carry on. Recti okay, now you've seen your mistake, you can now rectify it. So what are you going to do now? You can see these little um, learning curves what he's doing because he's now in reality his thinking is different so it affects what he thinks and how he thinks so just point out to me where we're going to be draining it from um, right here and it's a quarter turn clockwise right okay real all right we've attached it on there now see how yours pipe we've coiled it round bit better because you had it a bit straight and you just might have just blown on the floor yep. yeah so you'll need to make it more secure like that yeah then you can now open it keep your hand on the holes make sure it's on and twist it a bit stiff very yeah Let's have a look then, if it won't do it. Go on, carry on. You need a lot more. So now you've done that, is that correct? Yep, we're now one bar. Okay, good. Alright, you can disconnect. Now on your, you just took, took your, your foot pump off there. Yep. So is that okay? Was, is that all right? Yep. No, no water. No, that's right. No yes, water. that's good. So that's what you're looking for. Yep. And a good result. Yep. Yep. So you're gonna turn that off. Twist it back. Is it closed? Yep. Okay. Just pull the hose pipe off, but then keep it upwards. Keep it up in the air. No, 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 you're doing it wrong. I don't mean pull it off. Just pull it off and then keep it. Once you pull it off, lift up the holes, up in the air. That's it, that's it. And then. No, no, keep. Need to drain yeah. Right, what you need to do, put that in the sink then. That's it. You're going to top it up now. Now the key's already in there. Yep. 
but I forgot from the, from the bottom. See, that's the keys already in here. If you all that for me, I'll just show you. So open it, you open that tap there, like that, yeah, you can hear the water going into it. Okay. So I'll just do that. You can let go, you can let go, you're all right. So you just do that till it goes up to about 1.3 and then close it off. Go on, what, what obviously you're not sure about? So I was watching you at opening and closing via the small. Yeah, let's put, basically I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. One minute, oh it's come off. It's come off. We'll do that in a sec. I'll show you this. So, what you got? If you hold that there. Yep, got it. This is a T bar. Yeah. It goes, pushes it in mm -hmm. and twists. You've got like, on there, it's got like a little padlock. One's got a padlock and yep. one's got an unlock padlock. Okay, 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 yeah. So you, you put it in there, that position on the unpadlock, mm -hmm. push it in and it twists in. Oh, then you can turn the... So if we go back up here, the top of it, basically, it pushes in that lies in a way. It pushes in and then it twists and locks against that. That then allows water to go across when you open that other tap, what I just did. Yes. And goes into that system and starts filling it. So without that key, it won't fill. Okay. So somebody's already left it in. That's what it means. I just want to show you something about the engineer mode and the difference between the CDI model, what this is, yep. and the I model. So on the CDI, to so put it into engineer mode, we use a chimney sweep button to press that. We hold it in so it turns to orange like before. Now on the I1, we use a spanner button to put it into engineer mode. And it's going to on high speed. So use the sound treatment to turn it down. Yeah. But we just use a different start process. So on the CDI it's a spanner button. And the I sorry, on the CDI it's the chimney sweep button. On the I series it's the spanner button. And then the same, just use this to turn it up and down behind low. Yeah. Now we're gonna cut out the rest of the process on our servicing. Now, if you want to see more about what we do in this servicing and part of this mentorship program, you can join us on the next video and find out more about what he does. And also, if you're really interested, as I said, you can follow his path by signing up for this program yourself. So that's going to be it on this video, and we'll see you on the next episode.